this couldn't happen again. I'm literally running on zero hours of sleep, but hey, that's what you do during quarantine, right? That was weird. Okay. Hey guys, it's Key, and uh, this is a very weird thing for me to do, I know. But um, I, wa I really wanted to just sit down, have a very late night, have a... Have breakfast. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally running on zero hours of sleep. This is weird, but yeah, okay. Hey guys, it's Key, and today I just wanna sit down, have breakfast, and talk about my current favorites for the month of April and the half of May because who knows when my next upload is. Oh, okay. Let's get it. So, for the month of April, I literally had so many things I worked on. Especially, um, I've been writing again, and I'm not gonna tell you what I'm writing. I'm actually, um, trying to produce original work. Like, um, it's called Whispering Wildflower. I've been talking about it to my friends. If I had any. <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm currently working on Whispering Wildflower. It's basically a self-insert of me and a fictional crush because I'm kind of sad and lonely like that. <laughs> that is no laughing matter, Kia. Stop that. Anyway, but aside from writing, I've actually been working on some art recently and I love how my style is slowly developing. Like, let me, let me throw my first digital piece this year. Like, Shameful. Just pure shameful. Look at, look at that. I, I can't. I can't. I literally cannot. But, um... Hold, hold on. Mm. Okay, I'm back. So, for the whole month of April, I have produced a lot. Like, a lot of artworks that I personally love with the bottom of my heart. Some I'm kind of like, that was a mistake. I I'm looking at some of them. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's get into it. So my first work, I obviously showed and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It is terrifying. Not really. I'm probably going to like revamp it. I don't know what revamp actually means. I'm just throwing more around because vocabulary, you know? Um, huh. This was not, this is not a good idea. Talk, talking while eating, not a good idea. Who came up with this? I did. Stop it. So, I have to warn you, before we go with anything further than the previous clips um i am so into south park like i absolutely love it it is hilarious the characters voices the whole thing is like chef's kiss beautiful only thing i can't stand is the shipping because it's weird like <laughs> they're 10. i mean i like drawing most of them aged up by saying i'm saying most of them because i literally only draw penny for 99% of the time, so... <laughs> anyway, so yeah, no shipping. Please, get that away from me. <laughs> ah, I hate ships. Not really, you know. I should shut up! Shh, shh. Okay, so first off is a, like, a... So first off is a colored penny sketch. Like, I absolutely love that muffin. Eh, rat! Oh, I love him. There are no words to describe how much I love him. Especially in this style. I think uh, this was one of the most basic styles I had. And I don't... I don't know if I'm using it right now. I don't think I am. Yeah, no, I don't think I am. 
and, but it's like one of the first that I started out when I started um, digital digital art. So yeah. The next I have another Kenny piece, but this time with Craig because um, Kenny is one of the best friendships I'm seeing right now. Like it is cute. I like that they're kind of chill, kind of like hmm, tension. Love that. Yeah, this is actually literally one of my favorite pieces because like it's just adorable. Are, are y'all seeing it? Like, hello? I literally love this so much. It's like I'm supposed to make it a sticker, but I don't know how to make stickers. Like in real life, I just I just draw. I produce nothing. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense. Sorry. Anyway, here's another one. Um, it's actually one of my a, cutest pieces. Like, I like it. I like it. It's cute, but like not as cute as the next one. But it's cute. I like it. Then here, the holy boy. I love him. Him. He's literally so cute in this one. Like, I absolutely love how I drew him here. Like. Baby! Ugh. I posted this on my Tumblr and like someone contradicted me and said, um, technically can you can't go to heaven. I'm like, he did in the movie, so stop attacking me, I'm anxious. Yeah, <laughs> um, anyway, so right after that, um, I have um a South Park set of icons. I love them. They're literally like I'm gonna show you. It's it's up here on the screen right now. I don't know. I don't know what future me is thinking. Like maybe she's gonna cover my face. Maybe she's not. Who knows? But yeah, I love them. Them. I cannot believe how well I drew Carmen in this one. Actually, like I am shook. Like bro, who gave you permission to make him look like? that. Anyway, next up, um, Rick. The fine man himself. It's probably going to be an understatement if I say that I literally stand him so hard. It's a total understatement, bros. I have a Rick and Morty jacket. I painted a lot of my things Rick and Morty themed. Like, wait, hold on. It's not completely Rick and Morty. Like, there's no Rick and Morty, but look at this. Like, bro. It's actually really cute. Like, look at that. I don't know if you're seeing that, but it's cute. It is very cute. Anyway, so yeah, there's Rick. I love him so much. I literally have air fake AirPods. <laughs> Fake AirPod holders. Guess what? I literally bought fake AirPods just to have that Rick AirPods case. Yeah. I, I have problems that we shall not discuss in this video. Maybe another time. <laughs> anyway, and then I have my OC Brian. Bro. Bro. I literally love Brian so much. So much. This is the part where um, I actually have the established style that I absolutely love, adore, that I've ever done. Like, he just looks like a rat, you know? Just a little feral baby, and I love it. I'm living for it. That style, oh, beautiful. I love it. Next up, I actually um, drew two people because um, they have birthdays. And I, I, the nice friend I am, that I am, do things on their birthdays for them. Because why, why not? I mean, so yeah, I made two art pieces for my friends. No, not really. <laughs> one is my friend. One is my cousin. The one for my cousin I don't especially like because um, no, not gonna lie, I was half asleep while drawing this because. I literally woke up at 6 p.m. and then I was like, wait, oh my god, it's my cousin's birthday. And I literally just had to. Then I stayed up all night making this. This means this. It's actually really cute. 
I like it so much just because it's cute okay I love the colors I think I'm starting to establish like huh I like bright colors they look very pretty on my drawings and like just the look you, you know the look it's beautiful okay and these are the last two these are the last two artworks I swear and it's this one this one is supposed to be my lock screen and it is I would show you on my phone but I'm using my phone to record because I don't have a camera <laughs> anyway so this is my lock screen and I love it so much like the quality the quality and then I have my home screen I don't like it so much but like Kenny Kenny just Kenny anyway and then I have this current project I'm working on I'm gonna throw a tiny clip right now it's playing and I love it so much. It's just like, hmm, maybe I'm gonna give a shot at animation. You get them? Just a little something something. I was like, I genuinely really, really love drawing. Like, it's cute. I love it. I love to see it. I absolutely love to see it. But the problem is my, um, let's see. What, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, my focus. Oh my gosh, what is this one? My focus, it's literally everywhere. Like, I do not know what, what, what to focus on. Like, that chicken in the background, the fact that I actually um, made breakfast, um, my unmade bed, <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, just my focus is every, everywhere. So that was one of my current projects that I'm working on, and I'm so excited to continue working on it. If my laptop is being nice to me, I'll probably continue it later, because um, drawing is fun. I totally don't mass produce drawings. No, what are you talking about? Bruh, like, where do you even get that theory? <laughs> okay, next up is an ebook. Dude, I'm gonna throw up the cover now, but I just like showing off. Anyway, so this book. They both die at the end. It's one of my favorite reads over the past month. I read this in May and literally a day. Like it was so quick and just so easy to read through. And like the character developments in such a short span of time. I'm not gonna say any spoilers. Spoiler free content. But yeah, I literally love the character development of each of the boys. This is an LGBTQ plus book, by the way, and it's really good. I absolutely recommend it. And I just enjoyed it, you know? It was such a quick read, lighthearted, and yet heartbreaking at the same time. It was just, it was really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. Like, yeah. Anyway, so the other book is See You in the Cosmos. It is literally like dude I finished this in like two days because um I'm sorry okay I finished this in two days because um it was actually a really good read I just don't have focus and like um at first it was like science stuff and I'm like bro I'm kind of dumb in that department so and I kind of dropped it after a few chapters but then I continued reading it and bro it is literally not it not about that at all it's about mental health and how ugh, this boy is literally experiencing so many things in a weekend he needs a hug he needs a hug and i love him so much i think i cried a little like reading this i don't know and then my current read is everything i never told you and i just want continue reading but my focus is still dead so maybe another time and yeah that those are my books for this month because i literally could not focus the whole april except on my drawings because i'm kind of like that yeah so i think those are my favorites what else what else do i like <laughs> oh no i can't talk about that oh Oh, okay. So, um, aside from 
stuff that's been happening. I have been scavenging through my father's old wardrobe. And, it, and I found this cute ass windbreaker. Like, it is cute as heck. Like, I'm gonna demonstrate it to y'all. It's like, it's so cute. I love it so much. And it's so cozy. It doesn't make you feel hot. But I'm not really feeling hot right now because I turned the AC on for this absolute purpose because it's really hot in the Philippines right now and I can't even. Anyway, so yeah. Ah! yeah. It's this. Oh my gosh, that's my thing. It's so cute! I can't really show it off because I don't know where I am with camera! Explain it why. <coughs> so yeah, this, I did not even finish my breakfast. I am so sorry. I'm talkative. Enough, y'all know that. God bless the woman that made this. Here's my half uneaten breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and um, this is all for today's video. I'm so glad that I just got to sit down and talk through some stuff that I absolutely genuinely love with you guys and I hope I could produce some more videos in this time. I'm sorry! <laughs> but yeah, I really hope that I could just hang out with you guys and just chit chat even though I can't finish my breakfast and even if it's so good. How many times did I say even? Maybe I should like do a thing. <coughs> Never mind. The world is against that idea. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!